Hi, I'm so glad you're here joining me today. So we're going to start with this beautiful sunset and we're going to block in the colors and map the whole layout of the painting in acrylic. Now we're going to do what's called a wash. I'm start just bringing in some color. Use lots of water. I had to put those little spots in there when I was starting the painting so I could focus my camera in. Now the sweep this way because the sky is sweeping this way. Now we're using a little more water into the paint at this point just to kind of do a little wash, just a little bit of paint so that you can just kind of see where everything's going. And I'm doing acrylic so it'll dry faster. Okay, now I'm going to create a little horizon. So don't worry about too straight. Just go kind of because waves are bouncing around out there on the horizon so it's okay if it's not a straight line. Just uh, maybe a third of the canvas is down is the or up is the horizon. And just kind of put that in there. Not too much paint so it can dry and then just sort of wash down here. The horizon's a little bit deeper color because the sunset colors will reflect in the sand as you go down. Now we're going to just sort of form some clouds sweeping down this way. Just imagine your clouds, the direction they're going in. Don't worry about too much detail. Now the sun is going to be right here, so we need to leave that kind of open. A little more paint will make it darker. Less paint, more water will make it lighter. And you just wash your brush off every now and then, or pull, the, pull it through the um, paper towel like this, pinch it and pull it, and you kind of have your paint brush dried off a little bit so the water won't drip everywhere. I like this little opening right here so I'm going to leave that. And kind of just softly go around where the sun will be. Little poofs up here. I'm going to deepen the horizon a little bit more with more paint. You can see I have more paint on my brush. I want to kind of see where the waves will start coming in. So I'm just, I'm just basically drawing with my paintbrush little waves coming in. Just relax with it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Okay, that's probably enough with the acrylic. Uh, it's probably going to dry pretty quick up here. That's why I like blocking it in with the acrylic now. I'm listing all the colors so I won't have to talk too much here but I'm going to start with some blue and white in this sky right up here. Since this is good and dry now, I can work that because you don't want to put wet oil on top of our wet acrylic. That just won't work. Oil and water don't mix. Okay, now I'm going to just get a little bit of blue into that white. A little more because I want the top to be deeper color, maybe even more blue. So just going to do that same sweeping motion. Now you'll feel the wet of the oils just glide in that brush. And I'm of course listing all the brushes that I'm using. So I can spend more time telling you how to do this. So I just grab a little more color, get that brush kind of loaded. 
And just sweep in the same angle direction, just slowly. And let the white just sort of create a little wisp of cloud. Just the soft, just go soft. I'm going to dip in my little, little bit of oil I have in a little lid I keep down below. And I'll list that in there too, of course. Now I just let that glide across. Maybe a little deeper right over here. Just like a long triangle. Long skinny triangle. Let the white come off your brush. Now I'm going to get into more white as we go down. And I'm going to follow that pattern of the acrylic paint where the darker parts of the paint is, is where the clouds will be formed. And just, just like stroking a pet or something. Just soft. Let the sky just start forming itself. More white than blue. Just let it blend in. Pull it up and pull it down. Up and down. Just relax with it. This is what it's all about. Just relaxing. Enjoying what you're doing. You can play your music or you can have it completely quiet. Whatever you like. You can stop the video and take a break and rewind it. That's what's wonderful about these video tutorials is that you can just do it at your own pace. A little more white each time as I come down around this, these orange spots. That's where my clouds will be. And you can do X's like this, go different directions to blend it. And then go sweep back across. That helps blend the paint. Not too much paint at a time. You're just coming down, coming down. Do some X's in here to get that paint to come through the middle of the clouds because this is or little spots of uh, sky that's opened up where the clouds aren't. So I love. Just fun, 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 fun. Pretend you're at the beach and you hear the surf coming in and out. So beautiful. Now I'm going to get a little strong white right in this area where I want my sun to be. It's going to be so pretty. Your painting is going to turn out wonderful. Everybody has a different touch. Not everybody is the same. Not too much paint at a time so you don't get big globs. Just work that brush. I love these flexi filbert shaped brushes. They're round at the tip and they flex really nice so that you can really push that paint into the canvas. I'll come back, probably come back later and touch up that sunlight. I'm just gonna get some color down here before I go ahead and put my, uh, just to get that smooth, I'm going to dip in the oil again. I love these Michael Graham paints. They are so vivid with color. I met a marine artist years ago who told me about them and they just rock my world with light and vivid color. I've got some more white down here so that I can have blues up here and, and keep these down here. These from the yellow down and the blue up. 
so I don't mix that because yellow and blue will create green and you don't want too much paint put together because it will turn to mud real easy. Now I'm Xing this to get that those globs of paint if you end up with too much paint on there you can just push it push it push it. Now I've got a nice smooth surface. Now I'm going to start putting my yellow in there around the sun where the sun will be. Look at that. Just love that white yellow against the white. You just pull it in around. Pull it around that sun. Not too much. And if you lose the white, that's okay. We can put it in back in there later. Now I'm going to sweep this across here. Now the yellow will grab the blue just a smidge. And that's okay because there, in the mornings there's a little bit of green in that horizon on the sky. It seems a t slight tint of green anyway. Just ever so slightly. And just go along the edges of your clouds. Just to start creating some color. And put it down in the center of the cloud because we're going to put some orange down in there. And the orange will blend with the yellow. See how the you can follow those patterns of acrylic? It's really awesome. Just helps you almost like painting by number. <laughs> Actually, I learned a lot as a little girl painting by number. My parents gave me little sets of uh, paints with, and it really does help you place your colors right. But when you do it this way, you can practice blending those colors together where paint by number you stay inside the lines. So I'm just going to keep pushing that in there. I think I'm going to bring some down here now that since I've got my yellow and orange on my brush or yellow on the brush. This is actually just yellow because that acrylic is shining through that yellow already, that acrylic orange which is really awesome. Okay, we're just going to keep bringing that up into the orange again. Just softly over the top of the orange, not too much paint on your brush. Look at how that's just transforming. I love it. Oh, I love that. Just gorgeous. Seeing that light. Now I'm just kind of dry brushing. I don't have much paint on my brush. Sort of dry brushing over that. Now I'm going to bring in just a little bit of orange. Next color is orange. Don't worry about the straight the line. Do your best. Just push down and let that paint brush drag across. The trick is not lifting the brush off the canvas. And that way you won't get paint stroke lines. Then just start pulling it across. Getting a reflection in the sand now. Coming into the softer part of the sand, I think I'll grab a little more yellow. Bring in that brilliant, brilliant sunset. It starts to kind of turn it peachy color when the colors blend together here. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of that orange, come back up in here and just basically refreshing my little pattern of clouds. Just a little bit. See how I'm just touching, blending those two together. Now 
now this is part one, so we're going to get to a point here in a few minutes to let this dry and come back in and finish off the clouds. I love oil because it's just so brilliant and true to the real colors. I think I will put a little bit more yellow right here. Pull it into the sun and lift up the brush. Lift it up. Pull it in and lift it up so you don't go into the sun. Grab some more yellow. Come out to the edge and lift it up. Same over here. Lift it up. Pull it in lift it up. Pull it in lift it up. This way we're not going into the sun. Sort of softly blend that in. Now you just have to experiment which brush is more comfortable to you. Everybody has a different touch. So we, sometimes the brushes can be different just slightly. But this is how I do it. You can experiment. Okay, now look at, see how that is beautifully blended. Now I'm going to go into the crimson, into the orange. We're going to create like a peach color. Go across that horizon. Deeper. Isn't that awesome? You're kind of creating little waves. See that little waves starting to form. Maybe our shore hits about here, and the rest will be sand. A little more crimson. Just keep putting it in as you like it. See how the little waves are starting to form? So cool. And they just even if you go over a wave, just create another one. It's okay. Oils are very forgiving. You could let this whole thing dry and paint right over the top of it. If you thought you needed to. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to come up into the clouds just a little bit. Not too much. Give a little crimson up here. Just a touch, not too much. I don't want to get, I don't want to lose my light. And when it's dry, we'll be able to, see you can just kind of flick this color back and forth. And our little X's. When it's dry, we'll be able to um, pull in the clouds better. And oh, there's another technique that I want to show you and once it's dry. Oh, look at that brilliant, brilliant color. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of this ultramarine blue and I'm going to come across this horizon one more time. Grab a little crimson with it so it doesn't turn green. <laughs> That crimson and blue will make like a soft. Now just balance your hand. You can use a stick or you can wait till the next stage to do this. We'll go over this again. Just pull it in from the side, just like I showed before. Lift it up at the horizon. If you don't trust yourself while it's wet, that's fine. But it's kind of nice to get this suggestion here first. See, I'm kind of going off course a little bit there. It's easy to do. Now we're just build up the shore again where the waves might be hitting the sand. And it just uh, softly blends in. Grab a little more yellow with orange. Pull in some more reflection here. Get that 
kind of deep again. And that paint is nice and white, so it blends really well in here. So it's the safer zone. Safer zone meaning you can get a little bit crazy down here without worrying about messing things up. Just blend it, blend it, blend it. Get a little more light. Maybe even a little more white in here where the sun could be reflecting. And that just blends with the yellow. Grab a little more yellow if you feel like you need more yellow. And then white again. Pulling that color in. We're creating a nice first stage of our gorgeous sunset beach. I'm going to put a little more orange and crimson in here. Pull it in, pull it in from the sides. Crimson and orange. Pull it in from the sides. Don't lose too much of the reflection of the sun. If you do, that's okay. We can always Add it back in once this is dry. I just get, want to get a nice pattern here to work with for our first stage. Now I think that that is ready for when it dries and we'll see you in the next stage. <laughs>